Hello all you bladers, and if you guys want to learn about competitive Dynamite Battle or Beyblade Burst BU Ultimate Combinations, as in competitive combinations, parts I like to use, alternatives, and what they're good at, then I'll be explaining that in this video, and you can kind of skip through it to see which combos are which, so pictures or whatever, but I'll just be showcasing some combos I like using and explaining strengths, weaknesses, basically and why I like them. So the first combination here is going to be Wind, Excalibur, Illegal, High Extend, Plus Dash, 9. You can switch this with the Spread Dash Disc, the Moon Disc, or the Over Disc. And the, the core doesn't have to be Excalibur. It could be pretty much anything because Extend Plus provides burst resistance. But generally, the most important parts to glue this combo together are going to be Wind and High Extend, Plus Dash. The disc should be anything circular heavy, ideally something like this. Excalibur ties this combo together, especially because it has a sword in the center, and obviously when you activate the sword, it's two clicks. But because Extend Plus is a dash driver, it keeps the, it keeps the clicks hard. So basically, it's hard to get to two clicks, meaning that you keep the sword in the center the whole time. Illegal has a lot of holes on the inside, as you can see, which makes most of the weight facing towards the outside. So basically, the weight here is towards the outside, but Excalibur also has extra weight towards the inside. Wind is a very wide blade, Extend Plus is a very tall driver, which means that opponents will be pushed under it. It also has a very good LED. It has pretty good stamina as well, although it can be a little wobbly at times because of how tall and wide it is. Extend Plus can also be prone to wearing, which means that if you launch it, it'll kind of self KO even in stamina mode. Kind of like that, it's like it moves around a little bit and it kind of loses stamina, and this is in stamina mode. You can also switch it to defense mode against opposite spin attack types, and this is pretty good against opposite spin attack types in general. The next combination is going to be Dynamite on over if I just get the parts together hmm. dynamite belial on over bearing drift now normally you'd use illegal on this but recently with just testing in general I found that over is better on bearing drift if you can use it mainly because of the weight and because I'm using belial 3 it has a burst stopper so if I launch this <laughs> This is going to have a red burst stopper coming out. The Belial 3 core is especially tight even without the burst locker, so you don't have to worry about this thing bursting. Normally what it means is that the heavier the disc is, the more likely you are to burst, but I can use over without worrying about that because of the burst resistance. Dynamite is a very small, sleek blade, which is very good for stamina, opposite spin. Bearing Drift is the best stamina driver to exist, so this combination overall is going to be very, very good in same spin, very, very good in opposite spin, and overall a very defensive, safe option to use. It's pretty much the best combo in Beyblade vs. Dynamite Battle. To be honest, you can kind of switch things with it, obviously. Bearing is a good alternative here. High Extend Plus is a good alternative. Zone Dash Plus Z is a good alternative. Bearing Drift is the best out of the alternatives. Over, Spread Dash, Illegal, anything will work. Giga could work, but not as well. Obviously, you could use Wind, but it kind of scrapes a little bit. Dynamite seems to be better. You could use Perseus, you could use Curvius, you could use Belial 2, Belial 3, um, Lucifer, Hyperion. Belial 3 just works because you can not have to worry about bursting, which is something that is very common against things like that, because the main weakness is attack types. Without bursting, you can you don't have to worry about that. Obviously, outspinning is going to be very hard for this combo to even do, as far as opponents go, and you can also launch it defensively on angles and stuff like that. The next combination is going to be Guilty Longinus with Spread Dash, and if I get the parts properly... Now, these are all optimized, right? There's alternatives and everything, which you can do in, like, decks and everything. Guilty Longinus, Spread Dash, Quick Dash 2. The alternatives for this are pretty much any left spin core, like Bahamut, Spriggan 2, Achilles, Helios, 
Longinus is preferred because of its weight and burst resistance. You can use pretty much any symmetrical armor that is four-sided, like two, eight, ten, zero, six, ideally something like three, nine, six, three, or nine, or things like that would not work as well. But, um, yeah, generally that is the that. Spread dash is used because of its just how thin it is, how how smooth it is. So especially against opposing attack types, spread dash lets you have that kind of extra stamina in case you're going up against another guilty combination. You'll likely win by outspin. It's also light, which means that it won't cause bursting problems, and it's also able to move fast. Alternatives are Fortress and Giga mainly. You could use Nexus plus S, which will give you a lot more attack power but you'll have much less stamina and much less controllability, plus a lot less speed. Quick Dash is preferred over Extreme because of its controllability, and this already has extra speed with it, but you can use Extreme, you can use Jolt, you can use Quick, you can use Hunter, and you can use any version of those drivers, whether it being Dash or um, Normal. Obviously, Dash is preferred because of the tighter burst resistance. This combination is mainly going to be used to knock Beyblades out of the stadium, which is usually two points in most tournaments, meaning that the risk is going to be higher. The, the reward's going to be higher than the risk. The weakness is that you'll self-KO a lot, and if you don't get the knockout, you'll lose, pretty much. That's the thing. The next combination is going to be, if I put these together, Burst Spriggan 2 over Bearing Mobius. You could switch out the core depending on if you want it to be right or left spin, Personally, I find that left spin works a little bit better, but there are scenarios where right spin is your only option, especially if you're using it in 3v3. Um, over is a very good disc on this because it provides nice weight. Bearing Mobius and Burst, just like the Wind and High Extent Plus, is going to be the main parts to glue this together. Ideally, something like Over, Illegal, or Tapered is preferred on this. Nothing else besides that works, really, to be honest, because you need a lower weight distribution. You, you don't just want to have, like, a circular disc. You want, like, lower weight distribution on this thing. And ideally, you want it to be heavy. Burst is also pretty heavy with the layer, so you don't have to worry too much about it bursting, especially because it is a little bit taller. The main um, strengths with this combo is same spin and defense. The main weaknesses are opposite spin because Bearing Mobius likes to tilt a lot. And so even though you can get some LED finishes, you it's really weird because it's inconsistent in opposite spin. Also, because of the tilting, it's generally not a super safe combination to use. But this combo is very popular, at least as a counter to Bearing Drift combos in same spin, which is something that you won't find a lot. I also just like using it personally because of its weight and how defensive it is. Obviously, it depends on if you like using it, but this combo is more depending on if you like using it rather than how good it is. Again, the weaknesses are just opposite spin and how it tilts a lot, but the strengths are really good same spin and very solid defense. Burst resistance is like kind of average. It's a little bit higher than average, I'd say, because of how tight burst is as the kind of blade is squishing together with a chip. And to be honest, that's pretty much all there is. There is also some other ones, like Vanish on, if I get this part together, um, here. It's going to be Vanish. Obviously, this is Fafnir, but Vanish, uh, Helios, ideally. You could use Spriggan too, you could use Longinus, you can use Achilles. Just not... At this point, don't use Fafnir or Bahamut. If you really don't have anything else, use Fafnir. Bahamut would be your second to last option, but besides that, Helios, Spriggan 2, Achilles, and Longinus are going to be your top tier cores. This is basically just like a left spin stamina type combination, which is like basically like wind or dynamite. Vanish excels in defense. It's not super good in same spin, but the only other competition for left spin stamina is going to be burst and roar. Roar is not really used much, especially because it's in a random booster. And Burst is probably better for the combinations it's on than Vanish. I would really only use Vanish as a safer option. Because, for example, if you were battling these two combinations, Burst would win. And Burst is also better defensively. But if you want a safe counterclockwise combination, just go with Vanish 
on tapered illegal over or giga with bearing high x10 plus zone mesh plus z or bearing drift and that'll pretty much work in your favor zeo could also work but that's a little bit dependable and the final combination which is not it's not something super duper good but it's something you could use if you don't have an alternative is prominence on tapered Mobius. You do want really only tapered on this. You can use illegal or over if you have option if you have those left. This is basically gonna have a really wide and thick layer with a downward facing disc that allows you to be flat. It's gonna excel in defense against opposite spin bays. It's gonna be really good at opposite spin stamina. It's gonna be bad in same spin. And obviously, Mobius moves around a lot, so you're going to self-KO if you don't launch it right. You could use Astral on this instead of Prominence if you want it to be in a dual spin orientation. So something like Astral Spriggan on tapered Mobius, just simply this, is very, very good actually in opposite spin. If you're using it in a format like, let's say, doesn't have bearing or drift, then this is probably a top-tier dual spin combo. But... This isn't as useful because, again, it's, like, not very useful in the same spin at all. Against attack, it's really only useful in opposite spin, and it's really, like, not useful at all in the same spin. So it's, like, a 50-50 matchup. I would really only use this if you don't have a better opposite spin option, because even something like bearing has similar opposite spin while being much safer to use in the same spin. Again, Mobius, you really only want to use if you can assure that you're facing an opposite spin opponent and it's more specialized but those are the main combos i like to use here are some of the parts that i use just for reference and yeah let me know if you like using any of these combos or if you like anything different that's gonna be it for this video subscribe if you enjoyed and don't forget to keep on blading